morning guys welcome back to my channel this morning i got up went to the gym solo because jaywaz has had super bad congestion the last few days and so he was not feeling up for it but i went to the gym because i wanted to kind of end out the week strong today is actually friday so i don't know what day y'all are going to end up seeing this but this week has been very full and today we're ending on a really good note because our bed frame from Crate and Barrel is being delivered today. And I'm so pumped. You guys have heard me talk about this dang bed frame for what seems like, I don't know, maybe the last like year and a half. I feel like this bed frame has been the bane of my existence. We got it when we first got married off of Amazon and we bought like the cheapest, flimsiest one that we could find online at the time because we got married four years ago and it has served us well but we are like ready to actually have like an adult bed frame that is like sturdy and also that doesn't have legs the one that we have right now has legs and it's really high off the ground because we just have to store bins under the bed because we had no storage at our old place you guys have probably heard me talk about this before but just in case this is new information to y'all we are more than excited to have that delivered today so that's gonna come around like 9 30 to 11 is the window that it's got scheduled i hear jay was outside the door okay jay was made oatmeal for us this morning i wanted to do my bangs really quickly though because whenever i get out of the shower i have to do my bangs right away so i applied some product to my hair a detangler slash heat protectant even though i'm not gonna blow dry or anything like that i just like this because it smells super good and it makes your hair like so smooth and shiny and then i applied the living proof perfect hair day this is a styling treatment again i'm probably not gonna blow dry my hair but i really like this because i feel like it helps get rid of frizz and then i just applied some oil to the ends this is the kerastase oil and then you guys saw i just like quickly curled my bangs but this is pretty much how i do my hair after i get out of the shower and then I let it air dry and then i'll curl it for the day but very excited to have our bed frame be delivered, so I thought I'd vlog today. I need to squeegee the shower before I go so that it doesn't get all streaky. I actually can't reach the top of the shower, so I always have to jump to squeegee the top. Usually Jay Was will squeegee the shower, but since he didn't shower, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I feel like squeegeeing the shower is like my second workout of the day. I showed you guys this in a previous vlog, but I really like the setup and Jay was really shocked that I got this at Target. This is a win for sure. I'm liking the way that it looks. Riley's outside because we blocked off the door because there was a cat out there earlier. Come on, Riley. Come on. Hello. <laughs> Jay was made breakfast this morning. His famous oatmeal. He's the one that got me on the oatmeal train. Okay, good news, delivery's coming in 20 minutes. Bad news, we were in the middle of breakfast and we haven't taken our bed frame apart yet. And this has to be disassembled before obviously they can come and assemble the new bed frame. I haven't even shown you guys any hints as to what we got. So I'm really excited for you guys to see it. Should I break out the power drill to get this thing done or just the hand boys? I don't even think you'll need the power drill. It's already half unscrewed. <laughs> so bring your oatmeal to the bedroom kind of day. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to quickly disassemble this baddie so that they can come in and bring in the new one. We really needed to get a new rug for under this, but we don't we don't think that far ahead when it comes to furniture. So we're gonna just have them assemble it on this old rug and then we'll, we'll reassess the rug situation. Also, sorry that lighting is so bad. It is literally the gloomiest day ever. I don't know why all these things happen on the worst sunlight days. I mean, you don't even need an Allen wrench for this because it's already unscrewed. I got all sentimental about this bed frame last night because I feel like all these pieces that we bought when we first got married that are now like being replaced by like house furniture. It's kind of weird. Like I'm gonna be mega sad when we lose that um, white cubicle in the living room. Like not sad because it's obviously the ugliest thing ever, but it's weird. It's weird like moving stuff out that you've known for like such a long season of your life and then 
kind of like moving on to the next, but very exciting. on a bra and a little bit of concealer. Try to look somewhat presentable. My hair is still soaking wet, but <laughs> I'm very excited. Riley's in the sunroom. She's upset. This is the before and we'll show you guys the after very, very soon. He's eating his oatmeal in anticipation. A bowl goes everywhere with him. In the living room, the bedroom. Oh my goodness, here they are, the truck. And here she is. Yes, it's always scary when you order something online and you're like, what's it gonna look like? But this actually looks amazing. I thought this wood part was gonna be a lot thinner, but it's like really, really substantial. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Hi, Riley, Thank so you good. For protecting me. Hi. You're so brave. Really, you're a little sinker. She's like, this bed's awesome. It's gonna be so easy for me to, for me to get on. You're so tall. No, you cannot <laughs> get on there. Oh, I see you. Oh, wow. She, she so, no. <laughs> it's so, she's like, it's so no. So no, it's my bed. It's as low as my bed. Oh my goodness. And now we gotta figure out side tables. We gotta take a nap. Dressers. First nap in the new bed. And all the things. These side tables are actually pretty high and big. Got them at Target, but we're gonna try to find something that will match this. This is like a very different wood than I was expecting. Like the color. It's it's a lot cooler. Than it's cooler, the, yeah. Which I kind of, I've kind of- You like it? Especially because the, the floors are so warm. Yeah. No, I think it looks amazing. I love the arch. She's so pretty. Yeah, this is dope. We love her. And I don't, I don't feel like it's so obnoxiously low that I'm like- No, it's it's really not. Like it looks good, but I'm saying more functional. Oh. Like, it's not like, you know, I'm not- You're 6'6", like, six, six, though. So, for me, it's like, it's nice. It's great. For Riley, it's very nice. <laughs> you wish, little hog. <laughs> I love that there are no legs on this. No swaying. We love it. Okay, so while j -Waz and I were laying in bed last night, we were like rethinking the orientation of this room. Obviously, the bed makes the most sense here but we're going to move this mirror over to this corner where Riley's dog bed is. And then we're going to move the swivel chair from the living room over here, laundry basket. We're gonna try to just put somewhere else for a second. And then eventually we wanna get like a big comfy lounger here with like a little side table. And then, yeah, we're still trying to figure out the dresser bedside table situation. We haven't like landed one landed on one that we're like obsessed with yet. So we're still thinking about that, but this looks so good. She's cute. She's really, really cute. Tailing outside. Oh my gosh, oh look, my at, gosh. look at this, y'all. Yo, this is hanging a photo, but check this out. This is hail. You can see it bouncing off of the... What the literal heck? You see it bouncing off of the stone? Are you kidding me? <gasps> that feels so weird. <laughs> Y'all. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> he said hail. Don't worry, guys. You are kidding me. This is insanity. I literally looked outside. I was like, is it snowing right now? No, it's just hail. Sleep. This is hilarious. Nashville is on is on something. I don't understand. I can't understand. Also, we gotta we gotta work on this crown jewel sunroom here. This should be like one of the most beautiful rooms, and right now it is not looking like it. We gotta work on it, so. This is the new setup though. This is where I'm gonna do my outfit of the day, photos, and then probably try on hauls. And I have confirmed that we want to get a dresser without legs so you can't see underneath the dresser back there. We're gonna put the laundry stuff in the closet, get rid of that completely. And then eventually what we want to do is get a big like boucle kind of puffy chair to go in the corner and a really cool mod side table. But for now we've put our 
West Elm Austin chair here. So I want to get something that doesn't have an extra footrest, but is still like super wide and deep. But this is where Jay Wash is going to do his bubble reading. The bed frame looks so good. I'm washing the sheets right now. Jay Wash just hung that photo. I hope we didn't hang that too high. A lot easier to have gone higher than gone lower. I don't know. It looks really high. Tell me to hang it that high. I know. <laughs> Crap. <sighs> I think it looks fine. You do? Once we get a plant there, maybe it will look yeah. not as yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah. All right, what do we think about this little beauty right here in the corner? Does that make the photo look not as, well. It's a weirdly shaped plant. We gotta get a little plant refresh at Hewitt's, but does that make the photo look less high? It still looks high. We probably can't go lower, can we? You want to see your perfect white wall with a fat nail hole in it. It's like something, it's just, it's, it only looks too high because Riley's bed is so low. Riley, go to bed. Go to bed. It's over here. Oh, she doesn't know where it is anymore. Riley, it's over here. Go to bed. Go to bed. She's like, you moved it. She shook. I don't think we've ever moved her bed since we've moved. Good girl. Girl, sit. Sit. Sit down. Rye, sit. Good girl. It doesn't make the picture look any less high. <laughs> but you look beautiful, Riley. Really nice and yeah, you light. look really good with that plant next to I really think it's a, I mean, it's just it's so tall. Yeah. If it came down like two inches, I feel like it would look better. Can we lower it two inches, you think? Not even two inches? You might get, get two inches. That's so much better. So then about that was just like almost the same height as the bed frame or as the as the door. It's like a, a half inch to spare. I literally put this like winter jacket on because it was hailing two seconds ago and it's already melted and it's done. It's hailed twice today now. And now it's like kind of sunny. It's very confusing, but I'm gonna put the sheets on on the bed here. And then Jay Waz and I are gonna get out of the house, do a little bit of work. Cause I got to edit a vlog. It's gonna go live, but oh, it looks so good. We started looking and we went down the rabbit hole of like all of the bedroom furniture and stuff. And we also, <laughs> Sorry. We also ordered a really cool couch for outside in the sunroom and a matching chair from, was that Crate and Barrel or CB2? Uh, CB2. From CB2. Because we really wanted to have a couch that could actually fit more than one person because our little couch up here is so teeny tiny and I really wanted to make this outdoor space really, really inviting before pool season. So lots of big things are happening over here. We're very excited, but I need to get this bed looking good. Oh, that looks so much better than the, the other situation we had. bed over here, the photo hung. This is my outfit of the day. I've got on this free people jacket, a Madewell sweater from the fall. And then these are some Madewell jeans. I've been wearing these a ton in like all my videos. Got some Everlane socks on and these Madewell sneakers with green on them. Super cash cause it's Friday and we're just gonna go to a coffee shop and finish up some work the end of the work day. Hopefully it won't hail again. We shall see. We just left Crema and I would have vlogged but it was packed. Crema's more downtown and we forgot that it's a Friday and everybody just got into Nashville for the weekend. So Nash it's bash, ladies. packed. Get in here. It's packed it's this happening. weekend. But we are headed to 12 South now to go to Georgiana. George is that how you say? I don't know. I have a PSA though. If you're coming to Nashville for a bachelor party, that's normal. That's fine. People do that. I just don't want you to be fooled into thinking that the bus 
with the two pontoon floats covering the bus, that that's the best that Nashville has to offer as far as party barges and buses. There are a lot of great options. We saw one that was like, do the, the pedal tavern. The if you're best do party something. bus in Nashville. Don't waste your money on the buses. It was do like, the pedal it was tavern. Like a... But anyway, we are now on our way to 12 South to go to this new store that's opening. I think they're called Georgia, Georgiana. I think that's it's G O R J A N A. Georgiana. I believe is how you say it. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> Y'all know I don't know how to pronounce a single brand's name. But we're headed over there because they are opening a storefront on 12 South. There's actually a lot of stuff coming into 12 South right now. There's this new store called Love Shack Fancy, which is like very pink, very ruffly floral, which you guys, I'll show you in the vlog. But that just opened yesterday, I believed. I was invited to the party for that, but just didn't really feel like going out kind of later in the evening. But now we're headed to go check out the new jewelry store. up i said the brand name wrong it's goryana goryana the girl in the store was super super helpful she came up to me she's like oh are you familiar with goryana and i was like oh yeah i've been saying that that name wrong for years did you years. show them this place i did show them the actually, love shack fancy oh, place i'm actually really glad i didn't go to that opening because i bet that place has such a scent too i bet when you eh, walk in there it just has a smell it's got a fragrance for sure yeah like just not where what you want to smell it's pretty it's just weird like seeing a town kind of turn over change so much with like all these great brands that are coming but it is weird like a lot of your favorites are getting replaced what is this I mean, buttermilk look this. ranch look at, look at this what is this i've never know. seen that, that place in my life. looks nice it used though. to be a Laundry place? Dry cleaners, I think? Clearly, we do not come to 12 South. Oh, and the funeral home has been destroyed. Wow. You can't, you can't die in Nashville anymore. They took that one down. <laughs> that was a big no from them. Dang. Yeah, y'all, it's changed so much. I got a tiny, tiny piece of jewelry. They have stuff that is fine jewelers. They have stuff that is like solid gold. Yeah, and then people, they have. Yeah, people still believe it in Nashville here. Though? More affordable pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that sign's still here. I've seen. Dude, it. No, I believe in Nashville. But no, 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 no one's buy it. No one's buy it. That yeah, used to it's be. It's old news. That's so 2014. Oh, here's the Buck Mason. Oh my gosh! And the, are you kidding me? This yeah. is crazy, dude, dude. The Christian 21st Century Christian Bookstore is closed. That's insane. No one shopped at that bookstore though for like since we were in college. Oh, I think I they were literally just it. holding out on the real estate, honestly, to sell it. Yeah, it's it's turned over so much. We're supposed to be getting a Ghani here. Oh. And I wonder if crew will open oh, up a permanent. Oh my gosh, that limo. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. They're ready to pick up a bachelorette right there. Yes, ladies. Get on that limo. All right, are boot cut jeans in, ladies, or not? Comment down below. We've seen a lot of them. I've seen a lot of boot cut jeans. I know straight I, cut jeans are in, but. I, I think they're back in, not because I particularly I'm fond of them, but just because everyone has them on. He comments every time he sees a boot and cut. And Chloe's like, no, they're not in, but we have seen too many people wearing them yeah. for them not to at least be There might on be the in. They're definitely in in Nashville though, because you need something to wear with your boots. That's okay, true. I literally got, you can't even see it in here, this tiny baguette tuggy earring for my third piercing. So yeah, that's what I got. Our place, bobble bar. We literally just got rid of the chocolate from Christmas. Ah! I'm gonna have to go distribute this to our neighbors. Oh, that's a great idea. I love my Lindor lint, lintel, lint, lintel, lint, lint, right? Lind. <laughs> I'm gonna make a compilation video of Chloe just trying to pronounce various things over the years on my YouTube channel. Be a really good compilation. <laughs> we gotta see what is in this box. They. They did not tell me there was more coming this spring. I thought it was just a Christmas thing. 
if you guys are around on my channel in December, they sent me this huge box of Christmas chocolates and I put them in every one of my family members and friends gifts for Christmas. I loaded them up with chocolate because I was like, we cannot have this at the house all the time. Oh my gosh! Jay was! Oh my... We've got... Oh. Blueberries and cream truffle. Oh wait, it's broken. No. Oh, that would have been so fun. Okay, rip. You're kidding me. Bunnies. Sheep. Wait, I'm so sad that that is broken. You are kidding me. Apparently it was a thousand grams of chocolate in the shape of a bunny. And it broke! Tip, take a few selfies with your thousand gram gold bunny for some festive photos. My bunny's broken! My bunny got destroyed. Something did not go well. Oh my gosh, you... This. Holy... Rip, rip, rip your my bunny. bunny. <laughs> Should I take a selfie with it? Go okay, take a festive... <laughs> festive... Festive... Festive selfie with my bunny. Wait, won't he resurrect that bunny? <laughs> <laughs> After three this days in the shipping box, dude, that bunny's gonna so be sad. <laughs> This was supposed to be a thousand gram bunny. Still a thousand grams? Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. I bet the volume is still. Oh, up. there's a crack on the side. Okay. Yeah, great. We need to. Can you figure out what to do with this? I mean, I'm Riley's gonna, licking her lips. I'm just gonna throw it away. Can, yeah, so. throw it away. It's broken. There's enough for me to still give to people. Don't worry. Hazelnut carrots. Little bumblebees and lady balls. Riley. Yeah, there's no chocolate on the ground, is there? Don't worry, we have more bunnies. This is two and a half pounds of chocolate bunny. That's what we needed. That's honestly a good thing it broke. It's the Lord protecting us. Yeah, that's called protection. That's called the hedge protection. Right there. Literally. God knew we didn't need that bunny in our house. Honestly though, if that thing came intact, I would have given it to our neighbor's kids. They would have loved that. One bunny? Don't worry, we've got five bunnies that did make it. All in one piece. I bet my cousin's kids would love these. I should tell them, don't buy your kids Easter stuff. I said, tell your mom. White chocolate, dark chocolate. Oh yeah, I should tell her, do not make me use your basket. Three bunnies. We got milk, dark, and white chocolate bunnies. Then we've got something in this no bumblebee that's really that's really cute have you ever jay was come on that's cute look how cute oh, that's so cute oh my gosh it's like a penguin? no it's a duck <laughs> <laughs> it's an easter duck a penguin <laughs> you know what a penguin looks like penguins got, have uh, black on blueberries and cream i already showed them that oh, yeah but okay I'll just go in. Don't go away. You're doing so good. All right. Look how precious these are. Are you kidding me? They're not little friends. Wow. Wow. This is exactly what I needed. Yep. I needed all this. All of this. Yep. Yep. Uh huh. Honestly, relieved that two pound bunny got destroyed. Wait, there's actually more. We have mini eggs. Ooh, is this a, oh, babe, the dark chocolate eggs. Okay, I'm keeping these. These are my thing. And then these are assorted eggs, egg truffles. Wow. Did I need to come home to this? No. No, I did not. But luckily we have lots of friends who enjoy coming and getting chocolate at our house. So we'll just put it out for everybody. Be very festive. One more thing I wanted to open with y'all before we start on dinner. This is Vitruvi's rebrand they reached out and they said that they were like moving more into home air products and so they're rebranding from just a diffuser brand to more like a home umbrella brand i guess and so they rebranded so they sent over the new stuff and it's called home at last and i think it still goes by vitruvi but they're more of like a parent company to new different products so this is the rebrand though they did all new packaging and everything so pretty and they repackaged their oils and everything so we have got the new diffuser 
I think this one has been out for a little bit, but this one is called the Move Diffuser. So this one you charge on a dock and then you can like move it to different parts of your home because it's portable. So I thought this would be so amazing like in the bathroom or in the sunroom. I'm gonna keep it in the bedroom, but then whenever I'm in the sunroom, I'll have it for in there. So let me see. This is the box. Pull this off. Ooh, it's so pretty. Is it plastic or ceramic? I can't tell. It just feels really, really nice though. It has the four hour, eight hour, and then the light function and then the little battery right there. And I think you just plug it in on the back. I can't remember if it has a dock or if it's just a little plug, but let's see. It's in the bottom here. There's a pamphlet. And then got this in the bottom of the container. It looks like there is a charging cord and a dock. Perfect. So you plug in the dock and then you just rest it on the dock, I believe. It'd be like this. And then you can just move it around once it's charged to anywhere in your house, which is really cool. And then does this just pop off? I've never had a portable one before. Yeah, so this just pops off and you just fill it up like usual, fill it with your oil, pop this back on, pop like that, and then you can just use it. Really pretty. So that's the Move Diffuser. And then we've got some new oils that are part of their rebrand. So this is the scent Dusk. A Desert Night. This one is Calming Herbal. Packaging. This is the bottle. I love the shape of this bottle. It's like very modern feeling. Really pretty. And these ones are actually UV protected, so you can have them sitting out like by a window if you need. Oh, that one smells so good. This one is Pacific and Ocean Dip. This one is refreshing. Oh, again, packaging. Ooh, that one is very like fresh. That's so different than the other one. It smells really, really good though. Same packaging. This one is just lavender. So this one isn't a blend. I think all the other ones are blends. This one is just lavender. Mm, it smells so good. Pretty. I love those bottles. And then we've got this. It's called the Signature Kit. So this is the packaging. On the back, we have Legacy Sleep Pacific and Golden. So I think I have two Pacifics, but I think these are like little minis. So you can test out which ones you like the best and then you can get the big ones. But these are all of the minis. So Legacy, Sleep, Pacific, and Golden. And then the last thing I think is a sweatshirt. So cute. It says Homebody, Vitruvi, it's this really pretty like oatmeal color. So cute. So I'm going to plug this in and charge it up because I want to try it out. But I thought I'd share that because you guys know I have a Vitruvi diffuser in the kitchen. And I just wanted to show you this one because it's portable. It's so cute. Jaywaz is outside cooking up some steaks. We don't eat steak that often. We normally eat chicken. I used to eat salmon at a time. Um, but we're doing steaks tonight because it's Friday. And so he's out there cooking that. I am going to wash this kale and then pan fry it. And then I'm gonna cook some gnocchi and we're gonna do a pesto kale gnocchi bowl with steak and it's gonna be delicious. Well, I think that the kale and gnocchi might be separate. I don't know, j -Was mixes it all together. He puts everything in a bowl. I like to eat mine separate. So I'll probably have mine on a plate. Mini Noki. I discovered there's mini Noki the grocery, so. So I like to cook kale, which is like a little bit of oil in a nonstick pan with the lid on because it keeps the steam in it. And that way it like softens up before it kind of fries with the oil. And then I'll just add salt, pepper, garlic, and a little bit of Parmesan. 
That's the trick. So this is almost done. The gnocchi should cook pretty quick because they're miniature. And then we'll add pesto to the gnocchi in the pan and we should be good to go. is definitely four servings of gnocchi, but... It's nice because it feels like you get way more. Right? It really does feel like it's a It's probably the same, but I was like, a value. A value. Mmm, still hits. A little pesto on there, lemon on the kale, this steak that J-Wash, Chef J-Wash prepared. It's Grill Master J-Wash. Grill Master J-Wash. It's a knife. Mmm, delicious. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. Riley is getting her dinner right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Seeing our new bed frame hanging with us for the day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Say hey. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Oh, please do that, please. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye.